At the State House, a new bill may give mental health professionals the right to refuse treatment of a patient if it goes against their beliefs. The legislation is in response to the City of Columbia recently banning conversion therapy for LGBTQ minors. Today, senators heard public feedback. News 19's Julia Kaufman was there. Right of conscience. It's what medical professionals can use to refuse treatment if it goes against their religious or moral beliefs. A new Senate bill aims to expand those rights to mental health professionals, but some worry that'll harm vulnerable populations. We need to strengthen our right of conscience protections in South Carolina, certainly to include mental health providers as well as uh, other medical practitioners. That was already sort of in the works, but when Columbia took the actions that it took, uh, it sort of sped up my timeline a little bit. Senator Josh Kimbrell introduced Senate Bill 811 last month. It authorizes medical practitioners, healthcare institutions, and healthcare payers to not participate in healthcare services that violate the practitioner's or entity's conscience. Kimbrell says the bill is a defensive move against Columbia's new ordinance that bans licensed therapists from performing conversion therapy on minors. I think that's a violation of, of freedom of conscience and expression. We shouldn't have people who uh, are going to be targeted because of what they believe in their faith. Phil Ford with South Carolina United for Justice and Equality shared his concerns about the bill with lawmakers Monday. This bill is too broad and can harm people. Ford worries the bill, if passed, will allow medical professionals to discriminate against the LGBTQ community. This bill only creates more division in our communities and will do nothing to serve our patients. Vicki Ringer with Planned Parenthood also thinks it's dangerous. Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe in blood transfusion. Imagine your daughter is in a car crash and is bleeding profusely and her doctor is a Jehovah's Witness. This bill allows him to walk away. But Kimbrell argues that's not true. The existing law in South Carolina says explicitly you can't be denied emergency care. This bill doesn't change that. If S811 becomes law, Kimbrell says it'll invalidate Columbia's ban on conversion therapy. The subcommittee is going to schedule another hearing for public testimony this summer before taking a vote. At the State House, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX. Also in the Senate subcommittee meeting today, a bill was advanced that could require minors to have parental consent before getting the COVID-19 vaccine. The bill's sponsor, Senator Brian Adams, says he introduced this to prevent schools from giving COVID-19 vaccines to students without a parent's permission. I've heard some also some other concerns regarding that this will stop any medical treatment in the on a school property if needed. This does not affect that at all. All this is doing is limiting uh, the schools where they cannot give the COVID vaccine to their children or the children on, on school property that does not have parental or guardian consent. The bill was passed unanimously by the subcommittee. Senators said they plan to change the bill to ban all vaccinations without parental consent when they discuss it in full committee.